Hey, good family, oh we are God. back, yes, and man. guess what? For our first official reaction video back, we are going to check out the trailer, because we checked out the teaser a long, long time ago, for R, R, R. I'm going to beat you for Triple doing R. that. You scared me half to death. Triple R. I'm Nathan. I'm Rachel. I'm Troy. Why did you do that? Hey, I just I just realized in the last video where we told everybody where we've been, we didn't say our names. <gasps> Nah, that's fine. Troy, you, they know Troy, Troy will have put them under there somewhere. They know uh, us. I, 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 might not, I might mess up and put the wrong names over there. I don't know. I, we all kind of feel like noobs at this again. I don't know what's going on. But um, uh, real quick before we check this uh, this trailer out, just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support of the channel. Yes. Even when we were gone, thank you guys so much for that. Um, and just want to say <laughs> you guys can hit that like and the subscribe button and follow it all up with the notification bell. Bang! Bang! It's been a while since we're right back into it. Um, so, <laughs> I think we'll do away with synopsis time. We won't do that anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and read the real quick uh, synopsis for the movie RR because um, I've kind of forgot exactly what it's about. <laughs> but well, it's so been according what, a year? <laughs> to IMDb, it says it a, a tale of two legendary revolutionaries and their journey far away from home. After their journey, they return home to start fighting back against British colonists. Hmm. Colonist. Colonialists. Did I say that right? I don't know. Colon I said coloni colonias. Colo Colonial colonialists <laughs> is what I meant, not colonists. Or if whatever colonists. Said. Just colonialists. Just go around Can we not make me colon. laugh, please? It'll make me cough. In the 1920s. Yeah, it's, it's, so, so it's like a war movie. Uh, you something like that. And it says it's uh, initial, re initial, gosh, I can't talk. Initial release <laughs> okay. is March 25th of You'll 2022. Get... Oh, my birth month. Wait, before you guys say anything else, it is directed by, I know the director, S.S. Uh, Rajmuli. He's the Bao Bali director. Oh, he Ooh. is? Love those movies. Oh, those are good Ooh. movies. This For the record, I, I knew that, but I had to look it up. Yeah, <laughs> I remembered. Uh, <laughs> so, on that note, you know what? Let's just jump straight into this uh, trailer. <coughs> I know it's about a month or so old, so yeah, like I said, we're, we're getting back into it, so we got to catch up on some stuff. So oh. here we go. That's a beautiful Scott <laughs> Okay. Oh, that one is so cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The mustache boosts his power with the wild Uh oh. Uh oh. I've always wondered what it's like to be jumping to the crowd of people and have them like you. Oh, oh my god! Hey, where do you hit her with? Oh, Lord! There you go. Oh. oh! I knew it. Oh. Oh, that hurt. You thought you Oh, you thought you Oh, Oh, I'm convinced that I'm going to break the puppets. 
You can watch it at IMAX. Hey, I've got to say, I have really missed all those slow mo shots. I forgot how much I love the the use of slow mo uh, in Indian films. Um, as far as action goes, I thought it looked pretty. I thought it looked yeah, good. It's I thought action packed. That's for sure. Uh, it's got everything I love: slow mo action and uh, uh, very good cinematography. It looked like it looked like it did have a lot of uh, green screen stuff in there, uh, but a lot of the visual effects looked like they were pretty decent. Yeah. Kajul's husband's in it. Alia Bot's in it. Oh yeah, that's what I want to say. Yeah, Alia and uh, uh, is it AJ. just AJ? That's how I say. It. I know that must be wrong, but AJ. Yeah, I, I know him as Kajul's husband. <laughs> Um, I was going to say, yeah, Ali, Aliyah and AJ is uh, <laughs> in this movie as well. Uh, it looks, just going by the trailer. Amazing. Uh, it looks really good. I want to see it. I don't, I don't really particularly good. care for the way that they were beating up on the women, but. That woman really took a shot to the side of the head. She really did. What was it like some wood or it something? like a piece of wood that just disintegrated. Gosh. Good thing that disintegrated in her head. <laughs> <laughs> Why you make me laugh? I'm trying to. <laughs> I but yeah, I, th I thought it was pretty good actually. It looked, it looked really well, mm -hmm. like all the action. Um, they have to have powers or something because that man caught a bicycle, not a bicycle, a motorcycle. Yeah, I I did kind of forget. It did seem like in a lot of the films, the the main, the main protagonist or the the guy in the, in the flicks, they they do seem to have a little bit like superhuman abilities. Yeah. Um, I mean that's fine. Yeah. Um, just add, just adds to the action. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I thought I thought it looked pretty good. Um. The visual effects are pretty good, uh, especially with the tiger. Yeah, that the actually, tiger was pretty good. Yeah, it actually looked really good. But uh, yeah, yeah, because there have been some we've we've seen and movies too that it did have some silly moments. Even the even the great Bob Bali movies, it had a couple of silly um, visual effects like, moments. Especially with like the Hobbit movies. Um, one of them, I think it was yeah. Desolation of Smog when they're fighting off the dragon. There's one scene on there where I every time I watch it, I can tell because it's so like CGI right there. Mm -hmm. With um, the whole uh, Hobbit trilogy, is too that's much all it is—a CGI. CGI. It was like Bilbo, yeah. he's jumping down off this thing, but I can totally tell that he was just added in there. Well, it's like when they're escaping the elves in the barrels. That scene is just—it's so CG, and it doesn't look—it yeah. doesn't look even, good. It doesn't even hold up good. Even though it's all CG and it's pretty obvious, you can tell. I still enjoy it just because it's fantasy. It's dragons, yeah. magic. That's like my—that's like right up my alley. I love fantasy stuff. I guess that's the thing you run into too, like with visual effects and let's like for in RR for example, it's. If they're not done well, they're not going to hold up really good. So only time will tell as far as like that in like 10 years or so if, if you look back at it and like, oh, yeah, the visual effects. Because like Jurassic Park, that was it came out in 93. To me, those visual effects still hold up today. Yeah, they really do. And you've and got some more modern movies, the visual effects. Like Troy said, like the Hobbit trilogy, the, to me, the visual effects don't hold up. Man, especially all. with Jurassic Park is they used also they used animatronics. Movies yeah. nowadays just Did they use, use animatronics? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just use CGI for almost everything. I think all three. There's a three for three. Three yeah, for three. three. Three thumbs up. We're going to see if they'll play it at the theater up in Nashville because I really would like that. That would be a good one to see on the big yeah. screen. It looks good. We all agreed. Here's the part where you guys let us know what you think. Are you guys excited for uh, RRR? Um, if you are, let us know if you guys are checking it out day one. Um, what is and, the 25th uh, of March? I don't know. Probably just the 25th of March. But this is the part where... We do our sign off again. We haven't done yeah. this in a long has, time. A he doesn't so remember I'm, what to uh, say. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm uh, a newbie <laughs> all over again. But uh, oh, I'm, I think uh, you know what? Let's just we're just gonna wing it. We're just gonna go. Uh, we're just gonna wing it. Love you guys. Have a good one. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta make